You know what? Before I start this ridiculous rant off, I'm going to congratulate Norwich, alright? They played the perfect tactics. Anyone could have guessed what Norwich were going to do at Old Trafford, and that's sit back, defend, and counter-attack. Apart from Louis Van Hal, that is. He didn't have a fucking clue. And anyway, Norwich, fantastic play, to be honest. They fully deserved the win. I don't care if we were piling on the pressure. We're Manchester United, we should be, but we barely had a shot. So, to be honest, that just proves that Norwich defended well. So, congratulations to them. They scored two wonderful counter-attack goals, particularly the second one. Teddy, a brilliant driven finish, giving De Gea no chance. The first one, again, it was nice hold-up play by Jerome, and he manages to find a finish. De Gea maybe could have done slightly better, but I'm not going to criticise David De Gea too much. He's given us too much as a club. Who I am going to criticise, though, is fucking Louis van Gaal. Honestly, his philosophy is a bag of shit, all right? We've had the most passes in our own half, the most passes per shot, most passes backwards. You know, it isn't about passing, all right? We don't give a fuck if you have a million passes a game and a million corners a game. We care about actual chances on goal. And we didn't have one in 45 minutes in the first half, apart from an offside goal, which was blatantly offside. It was a nice finish by Rooney, but no, that doesn't count as a shot on target. We had none. But what's the bet, all right? I'm doing this before his, uh, what do you call it, post-match interview, but what's the bet he's going to say? We were unlucky, we dominated, we created chances. No, we didn't, all right? We really didn't. Creating a chance, what, what is that actual phrase? What does it mean, creating a chance? Because if you look at the first half, fair enough, we, we created so many, but we didn't have the final touch. We literally didn't have a shot on target, and that is just embarrassing. We averaged just over three attempts on goal a game. That is ludicrous, alright? I, I don't care if I'm comparing it to the Fergie era, because it's never going to be like that again, fair enough. But in the Fergie era, era, we were close to averaging like three goals a game. Three goals, not attempts, goals a game, which is just crazy. But anyway, there's so many other things. Why is Ander Herrera getting constantly benched? Alright, I know he hasn't been amazing in certain games. But he, he's a spark, all right? You, you look at something the commentator said in the first half, um, whenever Rooney isn't available in the box, because we were crossing some decent stuff in. Young was playing fantastically, so was Martial, and so was Blind on the other side, producing some decent crosses, even Memphis, all right? And there was no one on the end of it. And the commentator was saying, where's the midfielder running in uh, when Rooney isn't there? Herrera does that. He's already scored a headed goal where he ran in. I can't remember who it was against, but it was a lovely headed goal. I think it was against Everton, actually, when we beat them 3-0. Remarkable that we've beat Everton 3-0 this season away, considering they're a bogey team usually. But yeah, Herrera does it. He's done it last season running in against teams like West Brom and things like that. And yeah, we just missed that. And we started Fellini and Carrick, who were both pretty absent, particularly Carrick. All right, I don't like having to go at players, especially legends of the club. I've done it with Rooney, but... Yeah, I don't enjoy doing it. I really don't. I really want these players to be performing, but they aren't. You you can't bullshit. They are not. Carrick didn't do very much. He had a few passes forward like he usually does, but he was pretty bad positionally. Fellaini at least got involved with the play, but Fellaini, you know, he makes clunky mistakes now and then. But yeah, they kept Herrera and Schneidlin on the bench, and both of those must have been thinking, why the fuck am I bench? Like, seriously. All right, I... Uh, Oh my god, like seriously, we need Louis van Gaal out, and I don't care, it's a very divided opinion, but get Jose Mourinho in now, alright, he's proven, he might be a short-term manager, but people wanting long-term managers, there is none at the minute, there really isn't, alright, I don't want Giggs to take the job right now, for the reason that he's unproven, let him go to a different team, prove his worth, do what Gary Neville is doing, alright, and then, maybe in 2020, hire them if they're good enough. I don't care if they're a legend of the club. You can't give a big, as big of a job as Manchester United is to an unproven coach. So I would hire Mourinho. He literally is the best manager available, all right? He might have had a terrible season at Chelsea. He might have a third season syndrome now in the world. At most clubs that he's been new, but, you know, he, he's a proven winner. He is a good um, manager, where well, he's not good, he's, he's an amazing manager. Also, people saying that he's too defensive and all this shit and he's boring, he parks the bus. If you look at the way Chelsea played for the first 18 months under Mourinho, particularly the, uh, the first six months of the season where they walked the league, they were battering teams 4, 5, 6 nil, and he only parked the bus when they were at a considerable distance ahead to make sure that they secured the league title. That is what I would want if we're miles ahead 
I don't mind if we're defending, we're playing, you know, boring football, trying to walk towards a league title. Because in the end of the day, it's a league title. And for, at least for half a season, we get to see some attack. Like, attack in any kind of sense. Martial, uh, I haven't mentioned his goal. His goal was brilliant. Again, he was doing really well, dribbling and everything, but he just couldn't get on the end of things because... For whatever reason, we just can't create too many chances. But yeah, it's a nice little uh, dribbling interchange, and he managed to bury it. Now, he won the Golden Boy 2015 award, and I'm delighted for him for doing that. Um, it was a wonderful achievement, and yeah, he hasn't scored at Old Trafford for a good while in the league, but obviously he scored in the Champions League, and, you know, he, he's just... He's, he's creating chances, and he, he is our best player at the minute, going off form. And yeah, to be honest, Norwich deserved it. We are now fifth. If Louis van Gaal doesn't get the sack, I don't know what is wrong with our hierarchy at the club. Are they happy with this? Because you can't now say that we're in the top four, like we're doing all right, because we're not. We're fifth. Spurs are in the top four now. They've overtaken us with a 2-0 win over, was it Stoke? No, it wasn't, was it? It was, oh, I forgot. Mine's went blank. But anyway, they are fourth now. Leicester walking the league at the minute. Bloody hell, five points clear. I know Arsenal and Man City have to play. And uh, yeah, they're nine points ahead of us. And that's another thing. Arsenal and Man City play. That would have been an ideal chance for us to gain points on at least one of them. And we fucked it up. Against two promoted sides, we've lost back-to-back. -back. We've lost, sorry, we haven't won in six games. The last time we did that was December 1998. Yeah, we won the treble, but are we going to win the treble this season? I don't think so. So there's just too many facts, too many statistics, too many... All you need is a brain to watch our football and learn that it's absolutely shite. And it won't improve under Louis van Gaal. I'm firmly in that bracket. Now, he needs to go Louis van Gaal out, but I'm going to say it again because, you know, I don't want to be known as bitter or whatever. Congratulations, Norwich. You fully deserve that win.